it, Brad. All right. Uh, I don't know who's next. I'm uh, sure. I'm sure Musket will. I think it might be us. All right, oh, we're we playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Neat. Stream. Oh, uh, let's just. What's up? This is. Uh, hi. Wow. Commentary we have. Looks good. All right, so this could potentially be an interesting set. Um, but that I mean, you know, McLeod's on the come up. He's been improving quite a bit with Peach, and this, like Kai, is definitely favoured by a fair bit. But this is doable. Um, the big thing that sets McLeod apart, I suppose, from the other Peaches in SA is that his edge guarding is actually quite competent, like relative to his skill level. Um, yeah, I think he has a pretty he has a decent understanding of when and where to go out and kind of just swat uh, Falco away with the bear. Um, as opposed to, you know, Catherine. Catherine's not. doesn't exactly have the strongest edge guards. Alright, let's. Oh. Nice. We got. Alright, cool. Ah, yeah. So yeah, I wonder whether these two are striking. I shouldn't look. <laughs> okay, Dream Line, yeah, that's fair. When you're Falco at Vox, you pretty much have a choice of which, like, of Fountain, uh, FD, and Dream Line, which of the two do you at least, like, which of the three do you tolerate the most? Because, like, some species enjoy Dream Line against Peach, but... Some really don't. Um, she lives quite a long time. Uh, Kai, Kai likes the stage mainly because it gives him a lot of space to kind of shoot the gun. Um, top flight is very nice. Oh, that's not, is it? Okay. <laughs> if you do the side B high enough, you can eventually just use your aerial drift to survive. Um, yeah, I think he'd be done it like super low to the ground. Oh no, that's not what you want. Yeah, he had the nair, then he just stayed out anyway, just to cover some miracle world where Falco manages to make it back. Um, oh well. Um, still, still even, though. Yeah, Peach definitely could have done quite a bit with that stock before dying. Um, like, 110, that still takes a good two or three bears before Peach is dying, I'm good at Oh, you can't really think about that. You just have to move on. Very good, actually, by McLeod to, like, not preemptively float before getting hit by the laser. You make sure to... 
explode right afterwards. Because oh. otherwise he would have just been immediately knocked out of float and would have been in a really awkward position, but doesn't quite manage to make it back to stage. It's hard, you have to contend with like Falco full hop plus bear just covers so much space. Vertically. Um Really good bear. Like by McLeod. It was you know, it wasn't a particularly it was a panic side B by Kai, but um, still he it felt like he reacted to the side B, and that's Oh no. Oh, Kai either dropping through even just normally or shield drop just getting eaten alive by that down smash. It always feels so bad as a spacey. Oh, this could be soon. Oh, no. Okay, still clint. Well, that clint up the edge guard. This is, yeah, this is looking really good for McLeod. Let's see if we can actually, like, I think the dream for Peach at this point is to at least get one, like, solid down smash. Ah, oh, okay, well. That's unfortunate, but I think right now, if Kai's not going to just run into these like down smashes, then it's up to McLeod to tack on enough percent to the point where like something like a bear or an air is going to cause knockdown on Falco, and that's when he can actually get some yeah really nice tech chases or just punish the missed tech or something like uh, dash tech. And dash attack leads to so much, especially if the spacey does not DI fall out. He's definitely behind by a fair bit. He's like one solid back air is probably gonna put Peach off stage. And depending on where he is, yeah, I want if that down air had traded and uh, Falco was able to clean hit Peach with uh, down air, maybe he could have gotten another one to close out the stock, but... And yeah, Kai kind of just shoots the gun, um, and then punishes uh, McLeod when he sort of over overcommits, goes in. It can be scary jumping as Peach. You have many more defensive options on the ground. And it's not like a fast forward where the amount of time after you cancel your jump or like fast forward after you um, is minimal. With Peach, you kinda even if you fast forward Peach after float, you still kinda meander a little bit before you hit the ground and Yeah, you're vulnerable during that. Okay, so we're going to FD, which yeah. I assume Kai probably banned FOD. I think McLeod's chain grab is decent. To be honest though, oh, okay, that was, wasn't the greatest um, edge guard by McLeod. Never really cut, like, never really threatened um, covering ledge. Try to do that, like, fair that every Peach does where. They want this like magical spacing where Fair will both cover Spacey going to ledge, but won't won't commit enough to the point where you can still punish if they go higher. I mean, it's, I think the spacing is possible, but it can be quite tricky. Oh, okay. This this needs to be. Big money and Peach's chain grab is quite easy. Weird up to it. Not sure if that was intentional or not. Um, I don't think it would have. I yeah, I don't think it true combos with anything. So presumably it would flop. Oh, what's he gonna get off this though? A really bad wall jump, but still manages to save it with a, just, you know, a horizontal up B. It's not the greatest. Like, it isn't sweet spot that wall, but if people aren't prepared to punish it immediately, then it works quite a lot of time. And yeah, 
I'm gonna see. I mean, a dream, like, the dream here is for Peach to somehow get a grab at like 10. Because I feel like if uh, McLeod lands a grab here at. Yeah, if he had landed a grab below 10, he was probably just gonna offer a down smash. Oh, this is weird. I wonder if he could have grabbed. Maybe not, but. My first thought was grab there after the death check. Because that would have been an easy 40% and like ending with either a near. That I think in general, as Falco, I think you kind of want to just DI to the middle of the stage and then either try and jump or shine out. And by the time it like stops working, he just goes for like a near. You're not too far off stage, if any. Yes, yeah, old stock. Um, let's see how much more percent McLeod can get though. And yeah, these down smashes are eating Kai's jabs alive. It's hard because when you land as Falco like outside, when you're close enough to Peach, but not close enough that you can do something like laser shine, it kind of feels awkward about what your next option is. It's, it's an iffy spacing for Falco, so it's very tempting to go for jab. But oh, catches the very end of the fire, a uh, firebird. All right, that was a solid game from the club, but that was his counter pick. I wonder where we're going. I feel like we're, I feel like we're probably going battlefield. Yeah, because I think Kai probably... I'm oh not Kai, uh, McLeod probably bans Yoshi's. And I guess that leaves the Falco either Battlefield or um, Stadium. And Kai loves his top flat, so... <laughs> Good CC. Like... I don't think I think Peach's um, dash attack can't be ASDI down, but it can definitely be CC. Actually, maybe it can be ASDI down, but you don't get like. Oh, actually, I wonder if you um, can ASDI down that tech. Oh, that's not important. Anyway, they're both. Quite high. Kai, I think this bot just wants a back air. Um, Peach wants. Oh. Okay. Oh, this. Yeah. He really needed to still cover that. Kai is very good at, like, hitting that angle. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a. Greedy down smash, but still manages to flip the end of it, but, you know, eventually gets bared by the Falco. 180 though. The Clark's definitely happy with that. Ooh, that was actually a really good down smash. Because he knew exactly where Kai was going to dare, and he just, he didn't think that Kai was going to overshoot it, so just go just outside that spacing and put out a down smash. And... Ooh, this is... It's a really good um Yeah, well I mean it wasn't really a combo, it just like kind of kept him in disadvantage, but um, a while but Yeah, alright, well McLeod's behind. We're gonna see I think at this point he probably wants a back here right now. I think those are his two big Reliable options. Oh. The bear's also very good, but it's quite slow. And unfortunately, he messes up the edge guard there, which is okay. Really weird, like wait by Kai. Must have like flopped an input or something. Okay, it's an air. This isn't by no means over. Oh. But the problem is, when you're at a beach in this spot, it can be really... When you're behind, it can be really tempting to think, man, I need to get back in this game, so I need a down smash. 
but we're not really seeing that right now, but... Alright. Gets back to... Gets back to Sage and Ledge. Ledge can be really tricky for Peach. Um, since she has no Ledge Dash, and... I think Taunt Win is probably one of her better options off the Ledge. Especially above 100. Um... Down to get up and get up attacker, pretty much. Well, and roll, honestly, are pretty much just a free hit. Yeah, these. The problem with dash jacks are they're getting. Um, but they're getting CC'd and they're also just. They're late dash jacks, so he's not getting the strong hitbox. Um, oh. Still, is a. Yeah, reasonably close set. Um, I'm sure there's a lot that McLeod will take away. And I think up next... I'll just be back in a sec and get my water bottle. Yep, sure.